there's a concept of, we're talking about speed lights now, and there was something that you wanted to explain um, before we get into actually shooting with the speed lights, and what was that? When I was writing the book for Wiley about Nikon speed lights, and this pertains to, to any speed light, um, high speed sync, uh, which is where your camera operates outside its optimal shutter speed when using flash, uh, it seems kind of like rocket science. And mm -hmm. um, I think uh, there are ways that we can get around that and just understand how it works to, to make beautiful images. And if time allows, we can really dissect the science of it right. later on. Sounds like on. magic, like oh, how can you automatically, you know, have a, you have a normal 250 speed sync, but then now we're gonna use it at 4,000. Right. How does that work? Why don't we always use it at 4,000? <laughs> right, Why does it have right. to be called a special right. thing? Like what's happening? Right between 250 and 4,000, you know what I mean? Right. Well, I think let's talk about that. So uh, we're gonna demonstrate how um, high-speed sync works, okay? So Kevin has graciously done this for us. And so, um, Kevin, we're gonna actually have you expose. <clears throat> A little higher. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, so um, what we're gonna do, I'll have you face the camera here, is that Kevin is actually, um, his arms and this, this robe are the shutter, okay? So when you press the shutter button, your, your shutter curtain travels, it opens up, and that's where the light is collected. Now, uh, with a standard um, flash sync speed at 1 60th or 250th of a second, very nice, you're doing really well, getting pumped up. <laughs> um, with a standard uh, speed, what you're gonna do is that as, as it opens up, Boom, whoops, we're, we're gonna do that again. Here we go, as it opens up, we're gonna get one big burst of light, okay? So that's your 250th of a second uh, or 160th. It's just gonna be boom, and then by the time the curtain comes back, that flash will have exposed. If you operate outside of that without using high-speed sync, then what happens is, as this is just about to close, you still have light emitting from that flash. So what high speed sync does is instead of doing one big blast of light like this, it's gonna go like this. Boom, 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 boom. Now of course the shutter is firing much, much faster than that. But that's in a sense at very slow. That's good. In a sense, that's what it's doing. And so what happens is I smell smoke. <laughs> I'm hot. I think your abs fried my flesh. <laughs> what are you sniffing down there? Just, just checking. Uh, I think sweet. you need to stay in your no, personal man, space, no. sir. Is that what the tape's for? Okay, so, um, so obviously, as you know, without high-speed sync, you're getting that big burst of light. All the available power from the flash, boom, is there. Um, when you're using high-speed sync, it's doing little bits of light to be able to to get enough light through that curtain, okay? So you're not gonna have access to as much light, but you're still gonna be able to use a shutter speed outside of so it, 1 60th. It enables you to get the shot, but right. you're not getting the full power out of your flash exactly. that you would at 250th or something, right? right? right. Uh, but it's a great way to, in the middle of the day, be able to go out and shoot at 4,000th of a second mm -hmm. with a 1.8 aperture, get that really shallow depth of field and still have studio quality light on your subject. Right. And what you found during the lighting notebook that was really interesting is that you can also use an ND filter, and we'll talk mm -hmm. about those uh, tomorrow for fusion. You can use an ND filter on, um, and that brings down your ambient light, mm -hmm. not the flashlight, but your ambient light, um, so that you can still shoot at 1.8, but your shutter speed still operates within the normal parameters right. of your camera. Yeah, yeah. right. Um, and you actually gain like a stop of light though. Could be two stops sometimes, okay. yeah. All right, so it just depends. If you're shooting in a dark situation, like a dark hall or something, you can't really have an ND filter on because your camera, it's hard for it to focus. And anyway, so hopefully that makes sense, yeah. So we're gonna utilize a high-speed sync in here today because I want to kill the ambient light that's, uh, that's flooding the space right now. I wanna make sure that doesn't add to our exposure. I'm gonna disrobe, <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> 